Wait, wait, the staff just shot out a dog. Can I pet it? Wait, come here, I want to pet you. Come here. Come here. Sans, wait, did I get it? Oh, I know, hold on, hold on, come here. Come here. Nope. Oh my god, you can pet it. You can pet the dog. My life is complete. Hey nerds, I love me some Doom. And so when I found these games, I was so very excited. They're called Shrine and Shrine 2, respectively. It is a Doom mod called a Total Conversion. What is a Total Conversion? I'm glad you asked. A Total Conversion is where you take this Doom. No, no. Wrong clip. No, not that Doom. No. No, N not that one either. Come, come on, where? Here we are. All right, cool. All right, a total conversion takes this doom and makes it look like this. Now that we covered what a total conversion is, go ahead and cover the first shrine game now this game is very heavily based in the Lovecraftian style you won't see too many demons or uh, zombies in this game they're instead they're replaced by faceless nightmarish creatures in this game you play as Tusk who is a monster trying to rid his Eldred world of other monsters and essentially sit at the throne at the end. That's his life mission. I don't want to cover this game too much as I feel that Shrine 2 is the superior one. But this game is definitely worth a playthrough if you have not played it. I made the mistake of playing Shrine 2 before this one and it was very jarring and hard to go back. I will have to say that I really do appreciate some of the Lovecraftian style monsters and oh good god what is that <laughs> moving along on to Shrine 2 I definitely think this is the superior game as I said before the first game almost felt like a uh, a beta or a, a ground uh project this one is definitely a lot better polished and just the weapons actually have characters whereas in the last game they just felt like reskins this game also has a bit of a storyline whereas the other one was just generic hey let's kill everything as you can see right there the bone blade is now a slash weapon instead of a chainsaw knockoff. You also have hand grenades now, which are really cool. And I didn't find this out until way later in my playthrough. There's an alt fire option where you can throw them and they're a timed explosive instead of a impact explosive. It's definitely a nice little touch there. They've replaced soul flames for actual hearts for health now which is nice not having to remember what color does what but yeah th this this is definitely a uh, a massive improvement to uh, the first game 
Another thing I really love about this mod is the weapons. As you can see, the staff is now freezing enemies, which you can then smash. Really love the attention to detail that they put into this. The fact that it's not just a reskin Doom weapon anymore. In Doom, you have the double shotgun or the super shotgun. But what about this tri-barrel shotgun? This thing is awesome. Now, what could be better than the tri-barrel shotgun? Well, let me tell you. How about double tri-barrel shotguns? Yeah, that's a thing. Super shotgun, eat your heart out. As much as I would like to go into a deep analysis of every weapon and item in this game, I'm not about making 30 minute long videos. So, how about you just check the game out for yourself. It is completely free. It is on Steam. And I will also put down in the description the link to the developer's page. Definitely go check them out. I cannot recommend this game more. Play the first one. You could also just skip it and play the second one, but definitely recommend it. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more Doom conversions. I'm uh, always looking forward to hearing from you guys and seeing what other content you would like to see. But until the next video, game on nerds.